If you have flat nipples, then latching your baby can be more challenging for you. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to know if you actually have flat nipples, how to help you understand why it's harder for your babies to latch if you do, and what you can do to make that easier for them. Hi, I'm Avery Young with Norris Young, and I specialize in infant latching, and I am on a mission to end latch pain and help everyone get a better latch. So let's get right to it and talk about flat nipples. And the first thing I wanna say is that flat nipples are 100% biologically normal nipples and absolutely perfect for breastfeeding, but it can make it harder for your baby in the beginning. And I'll talk more about that in just a little bit. But if you're pregnant and watching this and have flat nipples, then don't panic. Plenty of babies can nurse with flat nipples without a problem. So you don't need to write your nipples in as the villain in your story before your baby even gets here. You just need to put an asterisk next to it so you can keep it on your radar as a reason why if feeding is challenging for your baby. So what are flat nipples? Flat nipples are just nipples that are short and they don't stick out very far past your areola. This is different from being small, which means that the nipples may stick out far but have a very narrow base because they're just small nipples. Small nipples aren't usually a challenge, but flat nipples can be because when a nipple is short or flat, particularly if it's short and soft, it sometimes doesn't provide a loud cue to your baby's brain that says start to suck. And if your baby's brain isn't getting the memo, then what happens is they may go through some of the latching process. And then when it's time to start sucking, they just don't know what to do. They get frustrated and upset, and then you get frustrated and upset, and then everything everywhere falls apart all at once. And the hungrier your baby is, the faster this happens. So when you're working with your baby that's struggling a bit with latching, make sure you give yourself so much extra time to start practicing that latching process and start before your baby gets hungry, if you can. So what are you supposed to do if you have flat nipples and your baby's struggling? You just help them figure it out. And the first thing you need to do is to just help make it super clear to your baby's brain that it's time to suck. And one of the best ways to do that is to make sure that you're going through their reflexive set list, which is the step-by-step -step process that the brain uses to help get itself organized and cue up the muscles that are needed to feed in exactly the right order. The set list that your baby's brain uses is rooting to get the nipple aligned, seeking to get the chin planted, then opening wide to gape, then coming forward, and then starting to suck. So the very first thing you want to do is make sure that your baby can go through as many of these reflexes as possible before that suck happens so that the brain knows that it's time to start to suck. Sometimes this process is enough because it helps the brain organize to know what to do, particularly if you guys can practice when you're both calm. And if they go through these reflexive processes and get there and still act like they're trying to suck but don't quite know what to do, then the next thing that you can do is to make your nipple feel firmer. And I wanna clarify really quickly that you aren't trying to make your nipple smaller so that we can shove it into your baby's mouth. We still want your baby to open their mouth super wide. The squeezing here is just to make your nipple firmer so that when the baby goes through those reflexive processes, then this cue feels a little firmer to their brain. So you're gonna go through the exact same steps you did before, which is to get your baby into position to feed to help their brain go through the steps, to find the nipple, get the chin planted and gape. But the only difference is now you're gonna actually shape your nipple here so that when they come up and over, it feels a little bit firmer. Now, where you put your hands is going to be really specific for your anatomy. And this is something that you're going to have to experiment with, but you can't do this wrong. Keep in mind that latching is supposed to be a collaborative partnership, a relationship where everybody does their own part. And we always want to be empowering our baby to do as much of this latching process as they can. And you should, because how you and your baby get their best latch is just your discovery waiting to happen. And the balance here is that the closer your hand is to your nipple, the more it's gonna interfere with your baby's mouth. 
So you have to find the sweet spot for you and your baby where your nipple is at just the right place so that your bottom finger doesn't interfere with their chin, but it helps them be able to make it firmer where they come up and over. So you're just going to experiment of where you want to put your hand to make this work. And remember, we're not doing this to put this into your baby's mouth. We're making sure that we're doing this so that when your baby comes up and over, it gets firmer. And we want to make sure we go through that process so that their brain gets organized. And if that's still not working, here's a couple more things you can try. The other thing you can do is getting your baby into position and helping them suck on your finger before they latch. This helps them get that suck reflex really organized. And then when they're organized, then you can go through the process. You can also add to this by using a curved tip syringe and dropping a few drops of milk on your nipple like this as your baby's latching. I love these curved tip syringes because they're flat and they're easy and you can get them right here. Now your goal here isn't to flood your nipple with milk. It's just to drip a little bit of milk down to give your baby the idea that it's time to start feeding. This works best with babies that are like almost there. They're just quite there, but they need just a little something extra. With this approach, though, you definitely need a second set of hands. And it's only a little bit of milk. It's just drops. Because if you do too much, then what will happen is this whole area will be wet, and that's going to make latching harder. But if you do that, and you've practiced, and you put too much milk, and it gets wet, it's no big deal. You can just dry it off and try again. And if that still doesn't work, then you can experiment with using a nipple shield. Again, you get to experiment because you can't do this wrong. There is no wrong for your baby. And latching isn't like a light switch where you either know how to do it or you don't. It's more like a recipe that you have to figure out that works best for you and your baby. So let's recap. Flat nipples can make things harder just because your baby's brain may not be getting a clear signal that it's time to latch. To help with this, you want to start early and help your baby get the it's time to feed memo by going through all the steps their brain needs to cue up the different feeding muscles. If that doesn't work, you can add shape to your nipple to provide more sensory input that makes your nipple feel firmer to your baby's mouth. If that doesn't work, you can activate the sucking muscles by letting your baby suck on your finger first. You can also experiment with dripping small drops of breast milk down your nipple. And if that doesn't work, then you can also try a nipple shield. If your baby is struggling with latching, or if you're using a nipple shield to help your baby latch, then you can also reach out to an IBCLC like myself to help you figure out a roadmap that works best for you and your baby. If you want more information about me or to see videos about latching issues, make sure you follow me right here on YouTube or over at my website, NorrisJung.com. Thanks for joining. Again, my name is Avery Young with Norris Jung, and I'll see you next time.